Lesson 22, Pants Part 1 Have, one, have you ever kept a pet? Yes, um, to be honest, me and my roommate are taking care of a cat. He, he is a British short hair cat and he is so hearty. hearty. Yes. Two, why do you some people keep pets at home? Um, I we to be honest, we consider cat we consider pets as a family members. So, um, and my friend, my friends also a cat a cat fanatic. So that's why she's um very very love to uh, very very love taking care of a cat yes and actually having cat in having um pets in at home uh, our life in our life um is beca uh, becomes much more interesting Three, what is the most popular animal in Vietnam? Of course, dogs and uh, cats. That are uh, those are the most popular pets in our country. To um, these two species have opposite um, personalities, but when they live in the same house. They live, um, they get on well with uh, each other. Yes. For do you like to have a bed? pet of course. Um, but I I really really like to have a bed. But uh, now you know I'm a, but now my current my current current situation do not allow me to get um to get to keep um pet because you know i'm a student so i'm quite busy studying and uh, my budgets are so limited so i cannot take good care of uh, them yes I, what animals would you like to have as pets? Mm, I want to have a bird. I have uh, I want to have both a dog and cat. But if I had to choose only one, I think I gravitate a little bit more, uh, a little bit uh, towards dog because they are very friendly animals and loyalty to their owners they know how to make its owner happy yes so that's why i like dogs little more than cats part three one was what are the benefits of a child having pets yes uh, you know there are many benefits of um, a child uh, having pets such as um, I think uh, when having when having pets um, children can have a friend in their house to play to play with and uh, they are so uh, they also will develop the affection for animals yes and um, in particular in particular as for dogs they pro um, they protect children from dangerous quite very quite um, well yes i think so to what should we do to take to take um children how to treat animal wells i think 
having uh having to take to take uh to take uh children how to treat animals well i think having a pet in the house will have children with this because you know children will develop affection and empathy for animals they will treat they will um they consider uh, they consider uh, they consider pets as their friends and uh, so they uh, can take good care of for them um, through um, through the bad pet care children will learn lessons about the animal protection yes three do you think that governments should place a complete ban on owning exotic animals at pets um, yes i think very aspect yes of course i think very especially for why and near extinct animals the you know these animals are inherent in nature so only when only when they are only when they are free in nature um they uh, their is their is things can be uh, stimulated and developed um confining confining them in iron cages make makes them lose uh jaws is things yes and moreover there are some animals that are very difficult to tender such as um tigers lions and so on so they are very dangerous to humans including the their owners yes for how are people's views of animal today different from those in the past um yes there are many there are many difference um in people views of animals today uh comparing today and past mm -hmm. i uh in the past in the past people kept animals uh to take care of the their house to protect the farm and to um and to and for food purpose yes and but nowadays people consider pets as a friend yes um they and children yes and they are treated they are treated uh, exactly like humans even even they are so sleep with their owners 